Blade Smiths, congratulations. You fellas have made it into the final round of this competition. Now we're sending you back to your home forges to recreate this iconic weapon from history. General George Washington's lion-headed cutto. Good luck, Bladesmiths. We'll see you in four days. So my billet's gonna be made out of 1084 and 15 and 20. Really good contrasting steels for Damascus. The last time I did my saber build for the Army episode, I went with the Damascus. The Damascus, it is a risk because there's multiple things that could go wrong from cold shuts to stress fractures. But as long as my blade does perform as I expect it to, my Damascus is gonna be that thing that puts me over the top. Here we are again back in uh, Springfield, Virginia at my home forge. The plan for today is to cut out a billet for the sword. So this wood anvil, as I call it, or the log whap method, to put a gentle arc in the blade that's the same log that I used for the Mameluke sword for the Marine competition. It worked before. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Day two, I got to get this blade quenched today. And I'm going to make some changes to the way I do it in my forge. I'm going to try using the tube method. Main goal is to take this tube and just turn it into a nice, long, hot oven. Had a little bit of issues getting even heat last time. So I think with that tube, it should give me a nice, more even controlled heat. I don't hear any cracks, pings, or anything like that. I nailed it. It's exactly what I need it to be. Anyway, day four, finally here. I'm feeling ready. I have a plan, and I have some hurdles to get over. The biggest one roars is that lion head pommel. First thing this morning, I'm going to put that thing in plaster Paris and let it set. I wonder if I should do it with pewter. You don't have to get pewter nearly as hot. It'll be shiny and look just like silver. Looks like garbage. I think I'm going to go with the silver one just because of the look of the silver. Right now, I need to finish the lion head, polish everything and sharpen the blade, try to take some weight off anywhere that I possibly can, and then put it all together. Woo! It's done. It's done. Day four, final day. I've never carved a pommel before, so I don't know how long it's going to take, and I'm going to have to put some time into it. So I'm just profiling from one way right now the shape of the lion's head to kind of refine it to what my final shape is going to be. And then I start removing some more material, a little fine tuning with my rotary tool. Pretty much looks like a lion to me. All right, veterans, welcome to the keel test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do, I will take your weapon and deliver killing blows to this big carcass. Tyler, you're up first. Ready? <laughs> OK. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, Tyler, your handle construction, just right. Your edge is very sharp. Overall, sir, this saber will keel. Perfect. All right, Gene, your turn, sir. You ready? Let's do this, Doug. All right, Gene, this is a heavy sword, very forward heavy. But when you have a forward heavy blade that you're hitting and meets resistance, a cylindrical, almost circular handle makes it twist in my hand. So probably this is the reason why the chain came off. But your blade is sharp, it will heal. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, December 25th. 
1776, George Washington leads the Continental Army across a frozen Delaware River to attack the Hessians at Trenton, New Jersey. And he probably didn't chip his way through the ice, but that's not going to keep us from our strength test, the ice block chop. Tyler, you're up first. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. All right, so Tyler, your chain fell off, but there's no damage on your edge. Your handle's comfortable other than the chain. You nailed it. Thanks. Good job. All right, Gene. Do it. <laughs> All right, Gene, your blade's edge is still there. And it's still sharp. The issue is uh, the rest of your chain fell off, and it's picked up a bend. I have less issue with that and more issue with this polished handle. It's just hard to hold on to. But it is strong, and it does have an edge. So good job. Hurrah. All right, veterans. Our sharpness test today is the Hessen Charge. This is all about what your edge will do to these dummies. Tyler, you up first. You ready for this? Yep. All right, Tyler, the weight of your weapon does prevent me from going very fast, but you have a very sharp edge all the way through. Your weapon, sir, it will cut. Thank you. All right, Gene, it's your turn, sir. You ready? Let's do this, Doug. All right, Gene, to be able to maintain a good grip on this, more of the cuts I create are more impact as opposed to a slash where it cuts all the way through. So you have some cuts here that are more nicks, deep nicks, because you have a very sharp edge. And for this test, sir, your weapon will cut. Awesome. Tyler, Gene, first of all, I want to thank you both for your service. You're both champions in my mind. You've already won your branch divisions but there can only be one Battle of the Branches champion. And you'll walk out of here with a check for $50,000. And that champion is... Tyler, congratulations. You are the Battle of the Branches Forged and Fire champion. Gene, please surrender your blade. <laughs> there's a lot of Marines out there, and there's a lot of great guys in the Marine Corps. And so for me to stand here and represent them is pretty humbling. I learned, too, that it's not about uh, just the metal being forged in fire. I feel like I've been forged in fire. And it's how you handle the ups and downs, the wins, the losses, and it'll determine real quick how you've been heat treated throughout your life. Tyler, congratulations. You overcame every obstacle set in front of you. You beat out all the other Smiths, and now you're the Battle of the Branches Forged and Fire champion. That's a title that comes with a check for 50 thousand dollars and most importantly bragging rights good job <laughs> my brother please present your blade to the judges i'm super excited when this whole thing started i had no idea how it was all going to turn out feels good to 
I've represented the Army. The fact that I just won $50,000 is, is starting to set in. <laughs> I'm Sergeant Tyler Hackbarth, and I'm the new Battle of the Branches champion.